ini. and survived the four-minute battle. Only three joined Hand of Blood in war. The highest point earners were Svenoff, Alex J. J. What the World Cup? Why now? Look at my left down. I don't even know where it is. And in the corner. Oh my. Tons of players attempted this death row in an effort to nab one of those two top five. In the end, a few players got really creative, and Four Turtle and Stewart claimed the last two seats at the creative finals. And with these last three qualifiers in the bag, we're ready to bring these eight teams to New York City to compete for a three million dollar prize pool at the World Cup Creative Finals. Be sure to tune in on July 26th when we kick off the biggest competitive. That play! That's the way the World Cup is not starting to start. Let go in the Gentlemen, Fortnite fans from all around the world. You got this. Faith, you got this. creative mode where people are going to compete for the grand prize of one million dollars today and then later on the program but creatives up first Zeke. that's right oh, we have yeah. eight teams of four so hi hello you know there's been ten weeks of battle team captains put together a team of fantastic fantastic creative individuals fake k Faith, Faith got it and TSM. Now, uh, I think it's time. I think it's time to introduce the team. Oh, I think? got it. Let's do it, Bala. We have teams getting ready. They are walking in. You can see the first view right now. It is the Funky Fighters. They are led by Tomoya. Team members are Kotu, Hayuzi, and Drakius. Now, Tomoya had built this unbelievable speedrun map. It was absolutely insane. And all three of these qualifiers actually found a shortcut in the map that Tomoya himself didn't even know existed. And that's how they snagged the three spots. So, of course, Kuta, one of the French players, he enjoys all the different sandbox aspects of the creative mode. No! You I was trying to watch the freaking. Woke up, you little, you little shit. Oh my god, you're so dookie.
what is up, guys? I was just trying to freaking. We will see you all, you, you soon, families, for a New York season. Oh! <laughs> Did he say ahead? Beat him because the freaking default killed me! I can't understand you, tiny little kid! That's Kenny! Ten more. On over to the fish fam. They are led by legendary community and death runner Scissors. You've got Tyler, you've got Sin, and you've got Suzu up on that team. And Let's go! This team is pretty dang good. Yeah, Hell like yeah, bro. Of the creators of the kind of game mode within the creative mode with death runs. We'll see what they're going to be competing later on, but Scissors has put together a strong team and he's a leader too so i can't wait to see what kind of chemistry the fish fam has put together with the rest of their teammates yeah and actually was this all different places Sizzle from the usa tyler from canada zan from denmark and suzu from belgium and funny enough we actually had a moment to catch up with tyler get his thoughts on the competition hi i'm tyler h from team fish fam My group so we're definitely going to take this home. There's no competition for us. Some strong words. Some Ice cream. Um, um, so TP in our flag. Um, Uncle Barry. Barry. The trick shotters of the Little Whip Warriors led by team captain Ninja. And they competed on a trick shot map. One of the most unique out of all of them. And they're whipping it up, Zeke. That's right. Ninja, let's go! Base Kaz and Taldex, 7 2 3. These guys are insane now, Ninja. I mean, everyone knows who Ninja is. Taco, he's from the USA. He used to play on console but switched to PC back in season four. You've got Kaz. He's also from the USA. And he started playing Fortnite just two days after Battle Royale was released. And then Taldex, he's just looking forward to playing games with his teammates. You know, he's looking forward to being here on the stage, looking all excited they all look. Yeah, absolutely. Kaz had some words ahead, as everybody else did, so let's listen. My name's Kaz, from Team Little Whip Warriors, and we're the most skilled, the most creative. Honestly, we're just the best. You have Ninja, that's why you're the oh, best! There you go, again, just, you know, when you're ready and you're skilled, you just kinda just... Hey, RAVENS! No Let's see who's on the Ravens! The Ravens Revenge, this team is led by Gotaga. I mean, obviously, you guys know this what the, the French now? monster teammates Magma, Artier, and Chappy. Taka, who oh, made God, the map, there's somebody here. talked about it. He actually has played in a number of different things, and we just saw Ninja. He actually once lost 19,000 in a rock, paper, scissors game against him. That is an unbelievable sum of money. I mean, sometimes these things happen. It's during a charity stream, so, you know. Yeah, it's all for charity. That's what this is all about. It's and creative map was actually called Elixir City. We kind of talked about that a little bit before the pre-show. We're like, this is a dope name. From the players, next up, we're going to take a listen into Magma and uh, hear what he has to say about being here. Big Ma. I'm Magma with my team, Great Ravens Revenge. It's going to be a really good the World Cup and we're going to smash the rest of the competition because we have the Battle Royale skills, building, death run, we have it all. Awesome. We're going to continue forward because we still have a couple more teams. The Llama Record Company is next, and this has some familiar names for the Compact Fortnite Led by a hand of blood from Germany, they competed on a four-minute apocalyptic map where they had to survive. So not really a surprise to see Spenna, Carnifex, and Alex JJ there because there are veterans of the Battle Royale format. That's right, and these guys have been competing, you know, since Summer Skirmish. And Let's go! Amazing. Spenos has amazing shoe collection. You've got Alex JJ from the UK. 
He also actually played back in the summer skirmish, skirmish which is pretty cool. Carnifex out from Italy. And the favorite thing about creative mode is that you can pretty much build completely new custom game modes. I can see it, man. That's ridiculous and funny you mentioned that about shoes from Spanos because when I met him in Poland, he actually was wearing these gold shoes. So we'll see it. maybe if you can pick up something gold later. But again, no surprise that this team qualified in the survival map. We're going to see if they were spinning any plans up ahead of the game. Let's find out. Hi, this is Sven Oz, I play for TK Lamas. We're gonna win this one because we have three pros on our team and a German that is very intense and aggressive. For the and of course, uh, the Bay Bombers! During the summer black party, you know, Sundown had the tongue twister of a name and they gave it to me this time. The Sunshine Soldiers. Didn't mess it Perfect. up. Let's go, baby. Perfect. That's how we do things here. You've got dual team leaders, by the way. That's Danian and Hatchet from Brazil and Mexico, respectively. Their teammates are Four Turtle and Stewart. Quad zero. Zero, 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 zero. Stewart, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> this team competed on a speed run. They had to clear 100 checkpoints as fast as possible. And the top two joined them. That's Four Turtle and Stewart, like you said. So very Elimination runs, the obstacle courses you have to get through. Yep, sure he's just so amped to be here on the stage, meeting you know his peers and of course some of the, the players that are all competing across the world. And we actually had a chance to catch up with them. Hi, I'm Fortuno, and the Sunshine Soldiers are gonna win because we have two captains, so it's twice as good. Got one more team to join us on the floor. It's my personal favorite team, Moniker. It's the Loxland Cuddle Crew, and he's joined by three players, MSYB, Clyde Tax, and Sandy from Slovenia. Lockie's landing was one of the first- Lucky! Let's go, Lucky! Beautiful match. Yeah, man, Lucky, uh, Lockland, excuse me, had Lockie's landing up for grabs and up for the test of all the players. You can see they've got the- Cuddle team leader, let's go, Lucky! This ragtag crew is going to be bringing the heat, and players need to look out. Now, of course, everyone at this point probably knows who Locky, uh, Lachlan is, I'm sorry, from Locky's Landing. you got MSYB, Clytex, and Sandy. And again, just a completely diverse group. Lachlan from Australia, MSYB from USA, Clytex from Germany, and Sandy out from Slo uh, Slovenia. Now, of course, as you know, we've been listening to the players. Clytex had a few words. I'm Clytex from Team Cuddle Crew, and we have the best teams in the world. Our next team, we are gonna destroy them and win this. No, why is this now? How come now we loaded? We're gonna surprise a lot of these players, and you guys at home and here in the stadium. What you're gonna be seeing, it's gonna be a really, really great weekend. Well, it's like the team captain surprised us with their beautiful maps. I'm excited to see all of them, how they can Let's go, Lucky! Let's go, Linda! We got this! In June, we'll see what he brings to the table, what kind of experience he brings to the table in being involved in that first competitive event in creative. You guys all at home that couldn't make it, we miss you, we love you, but of course we want to give you guys an outlet to be able to watch the way that you want to. So please, for your viewing experience with real-time stats and different points of view in-game, Head to Fortnite.com slash watch and choose from this channel, a dedicated map channel and 10 rotation options covering a selection of diverse players. We want you to be able to watch the way that you want to watch. Now, of course, Bala, I'm so amped to be here. I could not be more excited. The fact that I'm actually standing still it's a is, I think, a surprise to every single person. And of course, here's just a few more ways that you guys could watch everything. You've got the first place, the second place feet. They're all 10 feet for your viewing pleasure. If you want to see someone specifically tune in to them, see what they're doing, how they're kind of navigating the maps, you can do that. That's absolutely amazing to be able to watch any POV. Just like you said, Zeke, I cannot believe you're still. I've been in the back room getting ready, and you've been jumping up and down. So that means uh. it's creative time, man. I cannot wait to get to these games to get inside the Art Rash Stadium, Zeke. Again, I'm surprised we're standing still. I, I mean, if you guys aren't feeling the hype right now, you need to open your eyes because this is it. Ten qualifiers, eight weeks of creative qualifiers has led us to this very weekend. The Ooh, in New York City, we're gonna walk away with world champions.
Yep. I'm so excited. I could not be happy right now. And not only that, we are outside of the fan festival having a blast. Everybody's doing all sorts of fun activities. All the play all the people are getting inside, starting to get ready for the show, get in the bleachers, start watching some creative action, and then later, of course, the pro am. It's a blast. Make sure you're coming down here and joining us. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, now, funny enough, we actually have Kumi who is standing by. She's chilling with the leader of the Funky Fighters. That is Tamoya, so let's send it over to her for an interview. Thank you so much, Zeke. I am here with Tamoya of the Funky Fighters. It is so exciting to have you here competing in the Creative Fortnite World Cup. How have you been preparing for today? Um, I just practiced with my team yesterday and things went pretty good. And we didn't have as much time as I thought we would be do, but we played really good, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah. That's awesome. Team synergy is definitely important. Now, do you know any of the other competitors that are going to be here today that you'll be facing? Do you have your eye on anybody? Um, the Death Run map, uh, I think, is going to be the most competitive. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited to do the Death Run map, yeah. So, it's, I mean, Scissors is very well known for his death runs. Do you think you'll have any competition with him? Yeah, I think it's going to be really hard beating him, but um, my map was also a death run, so I think my teammates have a good chance. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Zeke and Bala, back to you guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. The hype is building. Now, guys, the show is getting ready to start, but there it is. You 32 players, 19 no. countries represented across eight different teams. The Fortnite World Cup Creative Finals are about to begin. You ready? I'm ready, Zeke. I'm ready to run inside. Without further ado, let's send it inside to kick things off. Let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? How you feeling today? That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Welcome everyone to the Arthur Ashe Stadium. I'm going to be your host. Couldn't be more happy that you guys are here in my hometown of New York City. It's actually quite nice to me because that means I don't really get to travel that far. It's pretty cool. That being said, we have a lot of cool stuff that's going to be happening here today. Not only do we have the creative showdown, but we also have the third Fortnite OM that's about. No, to no, no, you're not going to You got some of your favorite content creators. They're going to take that stage and battle for your entertainment. Now, okay. I know that we saw a few of the players that were coming out here. We actually have what? one that you all may recognize. Oh, thank you, Gas. Okay, Bubba. I'm not leaving. Familiar with faces that. for everyone in the crowd. Let's hear it. How excited are you to be here today at the World Cup Creative Mode? This is something different for you, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, I haven't really done too much creative, but I've been playing a lot with these guys. Obviously, the last 48 hours, and uh, no, I'm really excited. I think we got a really good chance. Screw it, Bo. Oh, 
I'm streaming right now. What the? Alright, good for you. On the edge of this massive flying city. Together they will push three castle circles, tracking up points by holding them down for the team. As each team heads toward the capture points, they'll need to protect their team's VIP, who plays a key role in this game mode. If they get eliminated, they'll respawn to the team's home base. The VIP is the only player who can earn points for your team while in the capture circle, earning three points per second. They are also the only ones who can wield the which does massive melee damage and enables the wielder to jump incredible distances. It's the rest of the team's job to make sure the VIP gets to the capture circle and stays there as long as possible without being eliminated. Right, there's a lot of people going here. Three capture circles oh, no. Teams have to strategize to figure out which point they'll be able to hold. Pay attention to your surroundings because if lots of teams are fighting for the same point, there could be an open circle elsewhere. Hold up. Did I say recap the circle? Actually, there's a the map to the fourth capture circle in the center of the map. Four times more points per second than the others. But with high reward, comes high risk. After each match, teams will be ranked based on how long they held the capture circle and earn overall points based on their rank in the game. Those points will be added to an overall leaderboard. Love seeing that and getting a quick rundown on how the teams can go about playing. Now, Monster, I have to ask you, knowing the rules now, seeing the map, seeing the team, who is your team to watch out for? You know, early on, I thought the Little Whip Warriors and the Fish Ram were going to do good, uh, good, but hearing from the Ravens Revenge, Dotaga now, I, I'm just shifting towards Ravens Revenge here. Uh, they, they swayed me. Their, their entrance has really swayed me. They definitely had a lot of confidence down there. Gotaga is going to be very competitive at a drop of a hat. My team to watch, the Llama Record Show, Game of Blood, Spenos, Alex JJ Carnifex. <laughs> in a very aggressive German. That's a combination oh, that I want to see on Sky Station Showdown. Now, we've done a whole I bunch of talking, but I know why you guys are here. You know why we're here. It's time to play some Fortnite. The Fortnite World Cup Creative Finals starts because, right now. Because you know that people this can't is avoid it. We are loading in. Everyone's hopping oh. out, and this is there are they are actually familiar with this map. So we're gonna see the strategies off the bat here. Let's see who can take away and break away with that early lead you saw there. Nice wide shot the former captains here. Here it is. Little bit Warriors in the lead off the bat. Already you can see trades coming out now. A fun fact, the Infinity Blade wielder gets a bonus 100 health and shield. So That's holding on the little the 200, web. 200, 200 mark. On top of that, Siphon is on. If you get an elimination, you get that 50 effective HP back over. That makes the Infinity Blade very hard to take down. They also get those big crescent move jumps to slam down. And as you can see, going on the right-hand side of your screen, it is creative chaos all over the place. But now, taking in with the Little Whip Warriors as they're able to clean it out, and Ninja's trying to rotate up top. Yeah, I'm sorry to break it to you, but the Lava Record was completely pushed off of their point. And now we have Ninja who's going in with the Infinity Blade. What a player to wield this one right here. Oh, he's getting pushed back. Notice how he doesn't even want to get eliminated. He wants to do as much damage as possible. But is that effective? I think you just kind of reset and you go or you get up there and you start swinging. The 75 damage hit will be able to take it down. The Lama Rex comes and establishes himself right back up. Now, what's going to be interesting to me is how the players utilize the They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. Little whip. Wood, and then if you get an elimination, you get 25 wood correctly into your inventory. So if you're able to kind of eliminate out and put pressure down, you can get some ridiculous kills, as we're already seeing on top of the blue hill. Yeah, this is actually a neck and neck race right here in the early game so far. Fish Bam, Chicken Champions, and Raven's Revenger all trading spots at the moment. Sunshine, so Oh, oh, oh. Nice job for Stewart. And look at the cuddle crew across the way just now getting their first points because they've been contested the entire time, whereas Lama Record Company has only had one team coming up towards them. Another thing to note, let's talk about the loadouts here, Monster. What are they rocking? 
They're rocking everything that you can get in the game from blue tactical AR up to that hunting rifle. So you have the long range, you have the close range, you have the AR. You kind of just pick and choose your battle, what you want to use. And the one thing you're missing that the Infinity Blade wielder does not have will be nine inputs in it. Right there, Scissor's able to cut down a bunch and get a decent amount of timing. Let's take a look at the score. Little Bit Warriors climbing up, but it's only a five second to test the lead, and they're building on it. Right now, not a lot of points have been scored, which means when that hill opens up at seven minutes, it's going to be more important. Yeah, this is going way better than I expected. There is no one dominant team so far. But the Little Whip Warriors are doing so great right now. There goes what? Ninja, and he does get traded out. Raven's huh? Revenge kind of takes it back over. We'll go no. to the squad. Managed to hold it down for long enough oh. to get their uh, you know, points. No. Don't forget. Only if you want it to you to your phone. And as soon as you're up there, teammates are not building to you. You're exposed for the entire map. Everyone else is able to see you. You can see El Rubius going in, but the double pack plus the Infinity Blade Wheeler of Hand of Blood. This Lama Record Company team is looking to go platinum with a great defense of their point. There it is. Very nice. Finally starting to earn some points, trying to break that, you know, triple digit Hand of Blood. Little fun fact right there. His dog Falco is Germany's second biggest dog influencer on Instagram. That's impressive, but I wonder who the first biggest is now. That's like, I'm just, is there a statistic for that? Like, you go down the line but one thing i do want to note for hand of blood look at the eliminations coming out of the infinity like already sitting on seven and being aggressive as the boy you hear people like, but i can't there's going to be but the chicken champions no come out on top there no tender defenders are going left able to hold the top and now calling the oh, right no, back up but they're only about like 10 seconds or so behind the funky fighters? Wait a second, uh, where did the, the funky fighters come from? Uh, Suddenly I they're at the top here, which and the Little Whip Warriors have not oh, managed no. to earn yeah. any points. Sunshine so we are not the creative. Ruin that festival up top, but it's Tomoya. What? He touched with him with Pookie early on. He said, you know what, he chose his players. Of you know, course he's gonna win some of the He's a gamer! He's not trying! Very good job of making sure they go at the same time. You can see Tomoya here. Doing everything he can to try and find out the I'm so pissed right now. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. He was a. a he was a pick. Oh! I'm so pissed off! I'm so pissed off! Freaking dumb! You don't want to talk? Have you done your birthday challenge yet? Most of the time, three, they get control and then they immediately, oh. immediately box up. But while we've been talking about them, let's check in back with the scoring as we're now right around the third mark in a minute 
Okay. From that 12 point per second circle, it ninja's team the little bit. Let's try to survive. Alone. I'm trying to watch this stream. Back down, and the Xing Xing was not enough. Puddle no could take it down. I actually love that strat. You don't see anyone else really utilizing the uh, the dive straight up into the air to kind of disengage off the pressure. Ninja's doing a great job oh, chopping no. up here. He's already at eight limbs. That never mind. Make that nine. That was good. Tiger who went down right oh. there. And they finally get another run and, you know, advancing the lead here. And they are just playing <laughs> out. Yes. You see every single one of them almost to the double digit marks. But, uh, Taco, hello. That was your head. Yeah, you gotta be careful because, hey, if all you're doing is sitting there rifling, that's fine. Somebody's gonna take a hunting rifle and make you pay. Lachlan goes up. MSYB is just behind him. And Lachlan is able to take that one over. Paz is trying to do everything he can. And he does get okay. Lachlan. So good delay coming out from there. But opening up about a 20 second lead. But here we go. Three, two, one. Middle what? point is open. That's 12 points per second. And right off of the bat, you can see kind of... Yeah, sure. Who will take it? Rubius has the better sword on the day, and then immediately taken out. This is Hold Kay. on, yeah, I'm Whoever's doing the last uh, one here is game. probably gonna be the most successful. But remember, you have to be your sword rear that your captain to be, uh, has to be there. Uh, and the last one uh, isn't there is not even worth fighting for, so uh, Ventec doesn't uh, care. He's trying to pick up that heal encounter, and he's on it. Play some good defense there. Down goes hand of blood. No points for the Lava record anymore. They actually use that. This a couple seconds put them all the way back up to second place. And it's two of the Kamado crew right now have combined for 31 eliminations, but they're not converting uh, it into points. They're currently the sitting at the bottom. 189. Little Whip Warriors do still have a lead, but it's already been cut down. And just as I say it, with the middle hill, Funky Fighters almost take it away. Rare goes right on over. And you see any amount of time in that middle hill is so efficient. I love that little guy right there. Hey, Tyson, are you watching it? Yeah, so that's what I'm watching. To start taking shots you can stop hey, it. You what? Want somebody else. If you look at this way, you're going to have to respawn. Because if you can't get tags, great. But if what? you don't convert them and, and into anything, it's not worth it. As I just kind of stuttered, because Carnifix is sitting on 23 huh? eliminations. Hand of on 14 right there. That's why the law of record company oh, is ahead right now. Yes,
one. is wood so you're able to like kind of get through it the infinity blade cuts through all of it right away but the infinity blade weakness doesn't have the ability to build support on his teammates as you saw the people who are rolling out of three and four incredibly successful and unfortunately the cutter was like so many healings that's pretty long because in a split game it's not gonna work out Oh, it's a video. If you, if you go to the like the map, if you go to the menu, you can turn it off. As you saw right there, it's not the video. No, 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 you monster! You monster! Like you were talking about. I mean, they could be easy. Ah, that's all good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? Bro. One match? Just huh. one, dude. I'm one match? That, that was quick. All right, well, he jumps on the bandwagon. We're going to jump on over to Pookie, who has an interview for us. Thank you so much, guys. I am here down on the arena floor with our champions here. We have the How many people? Record company. Now, only one. Any of you ever it's only a banana shirt. Shirt. Let's go to you first. Uh, yeah, we had a few training sessions yesterday, and we were totally dominating the game mode. So is he still I mean, there? Are you? Yeah, he's just and, like um, he's just right standing there. We feel very confident. Yeah. Well, you certainly played like you came a little bit from behind there, so your strategy was kind of like to get those points uh, that are scoring at the very beginning, and then kind of go right like the Yeah! Somebody call him. Um, the other dude killed him already for me. He's gonna change it up. We're just gonna do the same thing. Get my car! I mean, now all Hold the competitors are Get my car! Discuss strategy a little bit when the microphone gets turned off. Now, finally, get my car! Over here. How does it feel being here, playing in front of this massive audience? Uh, it feels amazing, like just a dream coming through thank you and for you over here you've traveled all of this way to just be here be at the world cup is it surreal how do you feel it's an experience it's, it's really nice yeah and we love Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> all right well we'll talk about that you guys gotta educate me on that not sure what that is thank you guys so much congratulations on taking can you the get my car back up to you Thank you so much, Llama, Record Co., Hand of Blood, Spenos, Alex, JJ, and Carnifex taking the very first match of the creative finals. The first match of the stage, I mean, it was an They really had a strategy. They wanted to execute on it. a little bit to get there, but over the course of the consistently occurring for Yeah, I should have known last night they were going to do good. So I was on the hotel lobby, they were hanging out, literally as a crew. Creative teams that I saw sticking together. Like I said, bandwagon.
and he's like, oh yeah, I'm fully on board. I'm no so problem. convinced. Hey, it's all good. This set has been so exciting. Oh, okay, I right. mean, who are you looking out for? Who can contest them? And what do you think the next step is to shut them down? They say, hey, we have a game plan. We're going to do the same thing. And I think if it's not broke, don't fix it. But after that, if you're going to keep winning, what do the other teams do to now make them uncomfortable? How do you go I mean, honestly, yeah, we saw a lot of that team play out of the Mario, you could play now.